I've engaged open access in a couple of different areas or components. I would say the first is as an educator. I find it particularly important to create transparency for undergraduates and graduate students about systems of publishing and journals. So one of the first ways I integrate open access or engage with it is in my teaching. I talk about it, I, um, we show examples of it on a very basic and fundamental level. It brings me back to the spirit of publishing and research, which is my research is for the betterment of community. Open access obviously provides more reality for connection to broader audiences, and I view open access to be a central part of feminist researching ethos. So open access allows us to really point our attention to those communities in need, to write towards them and for them. That means, as a feminist ethos, reducing that accessibility barrier, that financial barrier, is one that is so important. But a secondary reason I view it as important to feminist research is, once as academics we start focusing on who our core audience is, which might be communities in different places or locations, it will allow us to stop participating in this kind of circular citational practice where we're only focused on speaking to each other, where we write in jargon and inaccessible language and allow us instead to refocus our language towards those audiences. To be very, very direct, KU libraries and the open access approach is the only reason that I know anything about open access. I have been lucky to have most of my bubble burst around publishing be highly connected to the work of KU libraries, from KU ScholarWorks, um, to the open access policy, to the open access advisory board, to the outreach that happens um, amongst faculty. Uh, so I, um, I attribute most of my success, most of my knowledge, and most of my ability to create transparency for future scholars to the work that's happening in KU libraries.